Hi, so the last one is a review of chapter 6a, the amortizing loan. So the objective of this section is the, to separate the repayment into interest portion and the principal portion. For example, if you borrow a mortgage and that you pay the first um, installment, okay, that is suppose $3,000, and the, how much of the $300 is interest and how much is how much is the principal? Maybe in the first few years, the, maybe the most of the three thousand dollar will go to interest, and the only the, um, you can pay off a small amount of principal. Yeah. So some notations uh, you, we have to study: interest rate, interest portion, I sub t, interest portion for the t's payment, typically t's year, I sub t and P sub T, the principal portion, and RT is the total, IT plus the PT. Often, the, this is constant, so R. And the BT is the balance after the T's payment, typically T's year. And we have two important things in this section. So one is the relationship between the, these quantities. And the second thing is the, um, the concrete, the table for um, constant, the total constant repayment. Yeah. So the first is the uh, in the relationship between the um, quantities. So interest rate, interest portion. Interest portion is basically um, previous balance times interest rate. So because the um, as a principle, the, you have to pay interest portion first. So if interest portion exists, then you have to pay off first. Then after that, the, um, you can pay off the principal part. So interest paid at time t is the entire balance in the previous time times interest rate. And the balance at time t is the previous balance minus the principal amount the repaid this time. Yep. Also important thing is that the RT is the summation of IT and PT. So if you can calculate the interest rate, okay, you are given the RT and IT, you can get PT. Or you are given RT and PT, then you can calculate IT. Yeah, so second important point in this section is the, this table. So this is a kind of the standard table for the constant repayments. So you can see that the repayment amount is always one for N years. So in this case, the, what is ID? What is the PT? And the point is that the PT grows the rate of one plus I. So I mentioned that the, in the first few years, the, mostly the people pay off the interest and the, the don't um, pay off the principal part. But the, gradually the balance becomes smaller and the, we accelerate the repayment for the principal. And the, how much it ac accelerate? Um, actually, the, it grows the principal, the payment amount grows at the rate of uh, one plus I. So yeah, multiply one plus i. So just the um, you know the completely the hopefully the memorize the table. So when this table, um, so when the constant repayment is given, then principal the growth and the interest looks like this. Actually, the, this can be obtained by PT and RT, but um, the it's important to see what's happening. Especially, the, it's uh, interesting that the principal repaid amount grows at the rate of i. So we just multiply multiply one plus i, then we can get the next principal repayment amount. Yeah. So these two points are most important points in this section. 